Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. In the last episode, we made it to Dark Bramble. We found Feldspar, and we also found ourselves a little anglerfish friend who was not so little. Uh, this is episode 30. I can't believe we've been 30 episodes in already on this game. It feels like just yesterday we were... Well, it feels like just 22 minutes ago that we were... <laughs> Uh, setting off on our first 22 minute little adventure without knowing that that's how long it was. Hey, we have some ship stuff to read today. I'm pretty sure because um, we have made it to Dark Bramble. So uh, let's do a little bit of that. Bramble Island. Feldspark camped here before go heading off to Dark Bramble. So in the last episode, we... <laughs> We picked up a lot of information, and I haven't had a ton of time to synthesize any of it. One of the things that I think was mentioned about the secret of getting to the simple to the to the uh, uh, center of of Giant's Deep was these Bramble Islands, and also the fact that jellyfish are uh, insulated against electricity. I'm wondering if from this island there is a way inwards. There wasn't jellyfish, so we'll see. Um, Feldspar's camp. Feldspar's alive. They crashed their ship and uh, are now camping inside a huge uh, angler fish skeleton. I'm going to go back to Feldspar and have lots of conversations in the future. But for now, I'm going to keep exploring Dark Bramble. That's our goal for today. Explore Dark Bramble uh, as uh, freely as we can. Feldspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough because it insulates the insides uh, from getting zapped by electricity. Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better. Said none. Uh, said none. Said no, sorry. Only useful for insulation from electricity. Okay, okay. Hmm, yeah. So here is my general understanding of the planet of Dark Bramble. My working definition. Uh... We're going to put that on HUD and see how that works for us. Um, I think it is each Dark Bramble seed contains almost a world within itself. And because of that, it's uh, a lot of duplicate <laughs> signals. There's one through the seed here, and there's one also over here, which is very cool. Um, because of that, we're going to have to, like, sort of trace our branching paths through the place. I think it might be really hard to sort of knock out all of the interesting things on Dark Bramble. So, uh, we're going to figure that out. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see. We shall see. In a way, we found what might might have been the easiest one, which was... There's a couple different ways this could work too, right? Like each individual seed or like gateway light into the next thing could be, uh, could have its own branching paths or it could like double back onto other uh, paths that we also um, could try landing on. I don't really know. We're gonna take our ship in this time though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, that's too hard. I thought it was too hard. Here's the next thing I want to do. It's interesting that it tells us which one. That's cool. I want to try going for the red one. I, it's distinctive. Actually, you know what? This first one, let's do this. <gasps> okay, we figured it out, we figured it out, we figured it out, go! I shot the scout inside and I'm dead. You can eat the whole ship? Fuck. <laughs> All right, never mind. We figured it out. We have figured it out. So, it turns out what I was considering to be individual different seeds, like on the first layer, you've got four different second layers you could choose between. It might be that you have one layer you can choose and three deaths via anglerfish. Which would make sense. That'd be a nice old way to, you know, limit some things. 
Um, yeah, be interesting. Very interesting. So I think if I, yep, turn left, I can autopilot there. We don't currently have any new, uh, I'm going to autopilot into the sun. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh no. Well, when will they learn? Let their actions have consequences. Uh, I know that I overthink things, but here's the thing that's on my mind after that just happened. The time before that I launched to Dark Bramble? Was it in the same location in the, like, system? I turned left. I came over the horizon. If I autopilot towards this, will it start disappearing behind the sun? It appears that it might. It's 27 kilometers away. Yes. Okay. So. Basically. Oh, no. Please don't do it again. Not again. Not again. Not again. Don't pull me in. Not the gravity. Okay. Basically, I'm trying to figure out. Ever since I figured out that the probe shoots a different direction on a lot of different time loops, what's the same and what's different? It's one of my big questions. Like, do I start every time loop at the exact same moment in time and space? I would lean towards yes. However, the probe shoots in different directions, so does that mean that it's shooting in different directions because the explosion is occurring? Because we're starting the loop and then a half second later the explosion is happening, which has some random factors in it? That's my guess? But I truly do not know. For a long time, Ember Twin and Ash Twin were... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, we're... Oh, no. Were like I I could I could uh, repeatedly land on them every time, you know. I could repeatedly like fly to the same 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 place from launching and get there. So here's my question: Is every one of these an anglerfish, and or does this current cavity have? Things that are not anglerfish in them. Sources of light that are not anglerfish. We have the one that has feldspar inside of it. We have the orange one. The minute we can determine if that is an anglerfish, it is. It just turned away. Oh, God! Dodge, 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 dip, duck, dive, dodge, dip, duck, dive, dodge. I don't know if we made it away. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm going to get eaten still. How am I still going to get eaten? Listen, I. 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 Uh... Okay. So. I'm pretty sure of the five dots, one is a red something, which is a whole new gate. One is the one that goes to Feldspar's camp, which is a whole new gate. And the other three are anglerfish. I'm pretty sure. At least two of them were that time. All right. You know the other thing I should be doing, probably? Let me run to the ship every time. One way I can check to see if we're on the same is just to check the layout at the start of every 
All right, the interloper starts all the way at the outside. We'll go from there. We'll just hit tab every time we get into the ship and see if that, uh, if that keeps things the same. Oh, buddy. While we were in the process of uh, calculating our route to Dark Bramble, we were had not escaped the gravity yet. I hope we did this time. Maybe. I still think we might go into the sun. Oh, it's nerve-wracking. I was never any good at Kerbal Space Program, but I did really enjoy the difficulty of trying to like to align yourself with something that is in orbit around a planet you have to take into into account many many factors of which i will gloss over here and include like the planet's orbit around the sun which will change the thing orbiting it uh that that's location it'll change the thing itself is orbiting a planet and so its location changes and Plus, you have to, like, get to the right location while also having the right velocity in order to not impact it and or... Uh, uh, Etc. Okay. So, we have Feldspar's camp. This time, it only has two lights so far. Nope, there's a third one up there. We're going to go for this red one. This last time, I did get to look around quite a bit around the cavern. Oh, see, this one is not, though. Interesting. That one was not. So, that was neither Feldspar's cabin nor... Or camp. Nor uh, the red dot. <laughs> Fucking every time. Just chomp on the, chomp on the scout, please. My dad here. I can't even really determine if like I'm trying to repair the landing gear here. The only light in here is that freaking guy. So I think I have to try and exit this little seed area. Which I really don't know how to do that. Also, I did not do... Okay. Scout disappeared, so this should work. We went through. Incredible. There's that boy. Sure. Give me the orange one. Where's the orange one at? Beautiful. Give me away from every... Oh, shit. Port hull damage, headlights damage, aft hull damage. Everything's damaged. Give me to the orange one. That looks like a fucking anglerfish. Nope, it's just a thorn. All right. Oh, my God. This planet is stressful. Everyone. You can say that about every goddamn planet here. Hmm. Okay. At least we have unlimited fuel. I mean, not unlimited fuel. Maybe, maybe we do have unlimited fuel with the ship. Yeah, we have unlimited fuel with the ship. Okay. Oh, we'll get out of here. No, we'll get out of here. Listen, we got out. So... <laughs> Did you like that scout picture? It had a, uh, it had, had anglerfish teeth inside of it. Shit! Oh god! My insurance is gonna skyrocket. My good driver's record is just like fucked these days. So hold up. I gotta figure out if this orange one actually leads you to a place that you can inhabit. My goal, sorry, my uh, current belief about the orange dot the orange light 
is it's basically a dangerous route. That is what makes sense to me. What am I basing that on? Absolutely nothing, truly. But here's my thought. It's a dangerous route to somewhere. There will be lots of anglerfish. There's lots of lights every time that I go through. Yep, and they, some of the lights are very close. Oh, okay, too close. Too close, it turns out, too close. Are we dead? Oh my God. Where's the other? Where's the other? <laughs> oh, where's the other part of my ship? Oh, this ought to be fun. <clears throat> All right, we're still going to go for the orange one. We may crash and die a bunch here, honestly. However, this is like Lost River Subnautica part right here. Uh... I would like to attempt to make it to the orange light by skirting the edge of the... Go up here. Oh my god, have we made it? What are you? Are you eggs? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't touch, don't touch their eggs. Are you eggs? This is the creepiest shit I've ever seen. Hundred percent. Unbelievable. What is that thing? That's a part of my ship for sure. What do you think this thing is? No idea. Let's find out though. Oh shit. Too hard, too hard, too hard. This is fun. Is this fun for you guys? I'm having a great time. I mean, I'm terrified. My ship is in 16 pieces in the bodies of six different anglerfish. In the stomachs of them. All those lights just winked out? I've used too much fuel. This will work, right? Now this level is going to be very peaceful. I could just do this. Why am I not using the scout more? Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Dude, you just used the scout the whole time. In fact, you can check. I need to go because of oxygen. You can check your out every time. All right, we're going to get through. We're going to get through. It might also be as simple as at the center of every one, there is a... Another seed? Maybe not everyone, but plenty of them. All right, we're zooming. We're zooming. We're not using a ton of oxygen. We're mostly conser or our fuel. We're mostly conserving our momentum. I think your momentum does die when you enter a new area a little bit. I think I might be traversing the exact same. This is Googling recursion and then having Google suggest to you, hey, did you mean recursion? Oh my God. This is recursion. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> that's too funny. I mean, I'm dead now, but that's very funny. Oh man, fucking nerd jokes. That's great. There's no place to go other than this. Now here's an idea. Is every entrance the same one? Let's go up. Like on top of this thing, I think there is also an entrance. Same one. Fuel level critical. What do you guys think? We should just send it straight towards the light that is like all of the other lights? Here in a second, we're going to have some brambles appear on the left. You ready? Hey, look, it's the same two brand. This is so fucking funny. Oh my God. I died to recursion. Little indigestion. Oh, sevens in the chat. I thought for a solid three minutes that I was actually getting somewhere. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Yo, I was just one door away. I was so close. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, the light stayed on my screen. That seems dangerous. Uh oh. Did I break the game? Oh no. Did you see the quantum moon just disappeared when I blinked right there? That was awesome. All right. Woo. Well, there's a mystery figured out. <laughs> I would say that I'm surprised to be getting yanked around by this game, but I'm just so, so not. You know? I'm just so not surprised. Uh, sorry, we want to hit C to go to this mode. Cool, alright. So, uh, turns out, we know now, to clarify, like, what I'm pretty sure we know, uh, I think that we know... This is the same, okay. Oh lord, oh shit. First off, take off a little bit harder than that next time. Please align flight trajectory and hit the gas hard. Uh, here's what we know. I think maybe the only way through to safety and dark bramble. Nah, sorry, I should rephrase. That's not what we know. Here's what we believe. We believe that the only way to safety is to Feldspar's camp at least on the first or second set of gates. Uh, the red one takes you to anglerfish eggs, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty cool. Uh, many of the other lights just take you to anglerfish, but at least one of them takes you to a recursive uh, never ending loop, which is kind of neat. A loop within a loop, if you will. So I think we go back to Feldspar's camp. Oops, I hit that a little hard. I kind of liked flying uh, just jetpack, by the way. That was kind of neat. I mean, it was kind of... Ooh, buddy. Sketchy as fuck. Whoa! Not like this! I'm so close! Don't hit me! Ah! Okay, so this one. What do you think the ones on the right are? Or the ones on the sides are? We're gonna, no, 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 I'm trying to go soft. I'm trying to go soft. I'm trying to go soft. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Everybody chill. There's the one in the middle, which I'm, is I'm pretty sure the one that I went through last time. They each have their own symbols too. So, uh, why do I keep saying symbols? This is the one, <laughs> uh, the only word I know like that, where I just say symbols every single damn time. That is technically two different lights. Oh, it's, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there.
Oh, because it's through the middle, too. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Uh, we want to hit R and roll. Come on. I can land. I can land this. Go in the mouth. Nope, I can land it. Honestly. We'll just repair it from the outside. Wait, did you just say unidentified signal nearby? Did I not actually... Identify you last time? Five meters. There it is. Okay. Well, that's good. That should also say Feldspire. Fantastic. Feldspire, I'm back. And shit is kind of crazy. Oh my god. Doesn't remember talking to me. Uh, you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Let me guess. Anglerfish? Kind of hard not to once you've seen one of those fish up close and personal. Like, take a lid off, refill your oxygen tank. Hey, um, I think I'm ready to talk to him now. Where's your ship? Um, we asked this already. Left of it anyways. So, I found something. I found the frozen jellyfish near your ship. The only thing is still there, huh? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know? It was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. <laughs> oh, so perfect. Indomitable spirit. Still, very cozy. Hey, I found something. I found the anglerfish nest. I did! That's where the blasted things come from, is it? Stars above. If I still had a working ship, I'd be sorely tempted to go show them what's what. Sigh. Probably best to leave them alone, though, really. More trouble than it's worth to mess with anglerfish. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you so much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet, where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. Now here's my question. Timeline-wise, did that happen after or before the vessel made it here? If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick-like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. That's a rhetorical question, just a reminder. Rhetorical question. These are just questions I'm wondering about. Please don't answer it in the comments below. I'll tell you what. We Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Pull up a marshmallow stick. I found no my writing saying anglerfish are blind. Blasted things do have a weakness. Wait a second. Can I turn lights off? Hold up. At least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh? Is it that I can go blind or that I can go without... I don't know. I, I need to think about that. Uh, What happened to this anglerfish? The skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eating a seed. And the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until it exploded. Gross, huh? This skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. They're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. They're territorial, huh? Should I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quite peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand. But it's a lot of pressure, being the best that ever was. It's been nice to have a break. Feldspar. It hit me in the feels there. I don't know anything about being the best ever, but I do know something about pressure. Uh, I hit the wrong button. I was going to ask Feldspar. Hey. um, well, Sorry, where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that space is weird here. Intensely weird. Have you ever tried throwing your scout into one of these weird seats? See there with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tra tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see? But inside it's bigger. Much bigger. 
I've had a lot of time to think about this. My theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. Sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. That's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble. Maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Tell you what, though. Here's the thing. You're right, but also, at one point, it gets bigger, but I went inside of a seed and it teleported me to the outside of, you know... It's not like uh, a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll. It's not like that spell that they... In, in, uh, in the Harry Potter series where it's just like, you have a... Uh, you can increase the size of something on the inside, like a car, a backseat of a car or a purse. Because I'm telling you, there was a seed where I'd get to the center of it and it would kick me out to the outside. It was insane. Feldspar's like, you're talking crazy, man. I'm talking absolutely crazy. Shit. All right, well, we're here, uh, honestly. And I know this might make this episode a little bit long, and my dogs might be a little upset because it's their, it's their lunch that's gonna need a, uh, that's gonna take some, uh, be delayed a little bit. But I'm gonna keep recording. Spelt Feldspar does not sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. So here's my next question. Is it possible to... Oh, by the way, my headlights are damaged. Are you... You can turn them off. Holy shit. Okay, I need to not go through that. Uh... This was the area. Uh, was there any more room for exploring over here? I think the ship died here, right? I don't know that there was any more... room for exploring. The ship... Got electrocuted. Let's see if it gets electrocuted here. No. Sorry, the ship electrocuted me is what I should have said. Will it fit through this? Yes. Maybe? Ooh, I thought it would, but it might not. This is crazy talk, but we're going to use the uh, this camera. Nope. Nope. I don't think that's gonna... <gasps> I'm trying to just, like, wiggle it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think it's gonna fit through. Yo, it might have. Oh, it was really close. It might have. Wait, 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 why did I do that? Why did I do that? I walked through. Our ship's up there. Is there anything to explore in here? Ouch, that's an outside wall. I didn't know what that was. There's three duplicate signals up there. Okay, I think there's just, I think this is a closed room with just the way to the jellyfish. So where the fuck is the vessel and everything? Hmm. I wonder if there's more branching paths than I thought. At one point I thought that everything was a branching path. At one point I thought that nothing was. I wonder if it's somewhere in between. I think that would make sense. If it's not here, I don't know where else it could be.
Ouais. So. It does. It kicks you out. Okay. So where I am right now is technically at the surface. It does kick you out from there. I'm technically at the surface where this jellyfish thing happened. Okay. And it did not appear that there was anywhere else to go. Hmm. Unless that's a pathway. Nope. You can't go through the jellyfish. All right. Well. In that case. I think that's all we have. It must be another branching path. Hmm. Or there are more like hollow limbs somewhere out here. Ouch. I just got concussed. Ouch again. And there might be more like hollow paths out here. Hollow limbs and stuff out here, but. Um. It's either time to go die to an anglerfish or die to a meditation loop, so. I don't know. What to do here. I'm like trying to think of a system for how I would explore this place next. And I really have no idea. Now, here's an idea. Uh, I haven't thought of this shit at all. That's how. Of course. Keep your flashlight off. Oh, we're not going to have nearly enough fuel for this. There's no chance. The stress beacon, though. Of course. <laughs> I'm sad at how long it took me to come up with that answer. 600 meters. Are we going to make this? We don't have a lot of oxygen. Uh, uh, fuel, sorry. Fuel level critical? Yep. I'm trying, though. I'm trying so hard not to waste fuel. hundred meters is this the one where the eggs are oh our fuel is so critical and our oxygen is not great either we're going like one one thousand two one we're going like 20 meters a second and we have to go pretty far I'm gonna waste a little bit more fuel I'm gonna have to maneuver though too what is that Oh my god, this is very delicate. What are those things? Three hundred meters? Can I shoot this gap? Oh my god. We've done it. Can I make it? There's no chance you have a tree on board, is there? Please just locate the signal. Uh, that would be a small victory for today. Is there a way on board? I don't see one. Okay, pod three. Come on. Come on. I'm going to be using oxygen here in a second. 60 seconds of oxygen.
Okay, it's paused. Seka, our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here. This pod supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Seka, is the, minute, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. I have no fuel. Yep, there's the end. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed these last couple episodes as much as I have. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where we're getting, but we're getting somewhere. And more importantly, I mean this very sincerely. More importantly than getting anywhere, I am enjoying the process it takes to get there. I hope you are too. Much love. Thanks so much for the support on this series. It's been incredible. I will see you all very soon. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then. Bye-bye.